A new research paper has just been released talking about how Bitcoin can act as an interplanetary monetary standard. This is called proof of transit timestamping. Here's how it works in simple terms. First, you start with a transaction that is initiated on Earth. Users will send Bitcoin through Bitcoin network or the Lightning network, and there will be relay stations along the path, like ground antennas, satellites, lunar relays, and deep space optical links, which will then receive the transaction, each relay will timestamp when it's been received and when it passes it onwards. These timestamps are recorded cryptographically and signed by the relay nodes, creating a chain of custody. If anything is delayed or disrupted, you can see where exactly that happened along the chain. Depending on how far apart the Earth and Mars are at a given time, that could vary in how long the transaction takes. This also heavily relies on the infrastructure being built, the relay infrastructure's how strong the connections are. They hypothesize that a lightning network transaction could take around three minutes at the fastest estimation and could take up to 22 minutes when the Earth and Mars are furthest apart from each other. Of course, there are a lot of challenges with this hypothesis, such as solar conjunctions, which is a period when Mars is behind the sun relative to Earth and direct signals are blocked. There are proposals saying to route around the sun and more relay satellites so the transaction could still go around and reach Mars. There's also clock synchronizations and relay trust. Each relay needs a reliable time, which will affect the ability to sign the timestamp so that each transaction can be verified on the chain. The integrity of the chain of custody is reliant on the reliability of the timestamps and how trustworthy these time beacons are. But the bottom line here is that proof of transit timestamping doesn't change Bitcoin's core and gives a glimpse into what potentially could happen in the future future when we do get into that interplanetary <laughs> region. If the infrastructure is built right, if we actually go to Mars and live there, Bitcoin is a very viable solution for our payment 